Steve's Backyard Bike and Car Repair Tips, sponsored by Top Coat F11. Welcome back to Steve's Backyard Bike and Car Repair Tips. I have my daughter Cheyenne with me here today helping out. She's being a little geeky. And that's me. <laughs> so uh, we got her KX80 here. I know it's uh, been a long time coming to get back to this project and I'm sorry guys but uh, I believe my kid to uh, take some pride in her own vehicle. She needs to put her own little time and effort and money into it. So the deal was she got the bike but she has to help pay for the parts and she's finally earned herself enough money and uh, we've actually got parts coming in on order so we'll be doing the top end of the engine uh, right shortly hopefully in the next week or two so anybody that still has a top end ripped apart um, <laughs> I hope uh, I hope you got it back together by now but if not you'll see how it goes back together soon I do have some parts behind me here uh, we do have uh, handlebar stuff we, we have uh, grips and we've got levers and a, and a pad. It's all stuff that was missing on the bike or needed replacement. Uh, we have an air filter. That's it. And uh, the job we're going to be doing actually right now is uh, muffler packing. Now the muffler packing, when I pulled the bike apart to uh, clean it up, it was uh, very soaked and heavy. And it's long past due need and replacement. So... Uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to pull the silencer off the bike and we're going to uh, repack it. Now careful when you buy this, there is two stroke and four stroke muffler packing. It is different, so make sure you get the right stuff. And uh, actually FMF advertises right on the package. Like it, it can help get you up to two extra horsepower if you uh, change your muffler packing and uh, put some fresh stuff in there. So uh, here we go guys. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera over to Cheyenne in a minute and we're going to start filming. Let's see how this job gets done. I've never done one myself, so this could be interesting. Okay guys, so obviously we've got top end of heart, so I've already got this undone. I've got the number plate undone. You can take it right off or you can tip it up. Uh, we've got two uh, bolts right here, two eight mils. That'll get your silencer off. The pipe's already off. If not, it would just slide out from it anyways. So we're gonna take those off first and we're gonna get the silencer off the bike. Something I always do so I don't lose my bolt is I'll just thread them back in a few threads. That way you're not searching for them later. And then when you go back you can just pull them out and away you go to bolt it back on. So here we go. So now we're going to go over to the bench and we're going to take this apart. Okay, so here I've got the silencer. It's actually four 8mm bolts. I believe this is a stock Kawasaki silencer. 
I've had this apart already to take the old packing out before I gave her the bike for Christmas. So we're going to undo these. I probably only have to undo the one end. Actually, I'm going to take it all apart. Oh, no, I can do it just like that. So, normally you'd pull this out, and either in here or stuck around this would be your old packing. If it's been a long time, it's going to be oil-soaked, it's going to be hot, it's going to be gooey, um, sticky, gross. So make sure you're putting it on something you don't mind getting really dirty. And uh, we're going to get the new packing out. I'm going to go get some gloves on first, and uh, I'll be back. All they say you need is a pair of scissors. Don't use mom's kitchen scissors. She's probably going to be mad if there's all kinds of muffler packing stuck to it. Find a pair that you don't mind getting dirty or stuff stuck all over it. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. So, I've got the packing out of the package. I've taken my silencer. I've put it in. Just to wrap and enough to overlap a little bit, I think, is all you need. I've cut that down. Now I'm going to slide this out a little bit, keeping my finger in place. And I'm going to cut the end off. And that should be all I need for this. It's just a little 80, so it's not going to require a whole bunch. Yep, goes back in there. So once you get it tucked in a little bit, we're going to tuck it back down in here. And make sure if your tip's pointed, you're putting it in the right way as to how it's going to tip out of the bike. There we go. Now we're just going to snug those two 8 mil bolts up. And that's it. That is a repacked two-stroke silencer. A matter to put it back on the bikes the same way you took it off. Put your two bolts up, tighten it in. The pipe's there, obviously. Make sure you slide it in the pipe nice. All done. Pretty straightforward stuff, guys. Now, obviously... I didn't have to take the old packing off. If you take that old packing off, I get some solvent or brake cleaner or something, clean that side, the tube off that the exhaust comes out through, just to prevent soaking the new packing down with a bunch of oil and stuff before you even start the bike. Um, basic, simple stuff that can be done at home. As you can see, there was one wrench and a pair of scissors. Okay guys, I hope this has helped you out. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, and if you want to know when I put up more content, tap that bell. Cheers, have a good weekend, guys.